Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been almost 5 months since my last video. It was one of my 2020 resolutions to post a new video once every month, so 12 videos in total, but it didn't really work out that way. I'm a little bit disappointed, but ultimately not regretful or anything. I've been busy working, busy learning, busy teaching. My goals pivoted and changed around, but I'm confident it's for the better. I'm still keeping the upload one video a month resolution for 2021 as well, but I'm not gonna stress myself over it too much. So in this video I want to talk about a topic that's surprisingly still rather sensitive to some people, and that's copying other people's art, and whether it's okay or not to do so. People have different opinions on this matter, and in this video I want to share my own thoughts on it. Let's start by getting something out of the way. True originality is a myth. There's nothing original under the sun, and anything incredible and original to you is only so because you have never seen it before. The human mind is literally incapable of conceiving something it has never seen before, so even mythical creatures like dragons and unicorns and the like are combinations of things we've seen, and just remixed together to create something quote-unquote original. Every artist creates work using inspiration and references from their own lives, their own memories and childhoods and beliefs, and favorite media and genres. These experiences of the artist together create something unique to that artist, and that's what we call style. Because nobody's just born with a voice right out the gate, and nobody's born just knowing what to do and how to do it. Say you want to draw something you've never drawn before. How are you going to draw it? If you try drawing it from memory right away, you're going to end up with a joke. You have to use an image or several images of it to be able to create something halfway decent. At least until you've drawn it enough times, it's become ingrained in your memory. References almost always make my drawing so much better, period. And there are still many things I can't really draw without a reference, especially when I don't know how the light plays off that object. Your technical skills get so much better in a shorter amount of time and with enough practice you build the muscle memory to eventually not even need to look at a reference anymore. One of the reasons Italian Renaissance artist Michelangelo became so famous during his lifetime is because his technical ability to copy an ancient Roman sculpture called the Sleeping Cupid was so incredible he could pass the forgery as the original piece. Back then people didn't get hung up on copying art because they didn't really see it as an insult but rather as a testament of the artist's technical skill and understanding of the fundamentals. If you're so desperate not to copy or use a reference ever, you're gonna end up with pretty subpar work to be honest. How are you gonna draw it well if you don't understand the underlying shapes of the thing you're trying to draw? You don't understand how the light falls on it. You don't understand how you can translate it from 3D to 2D on paper. You don't understand how to stylize it and how to add your own flair to the line work, and the list goes on and on. It's like trying to build a house without the foundations. Without the foundations, you won't be able to create high-quality work. You have to learn the fundamentals, and you start out by imitating the works of people who know what they're doing. And this doesn't apply only to drawing. It also applies to writing and to music. I mean, when we take music as an example, everybody starts out by playing a piece that already exists as training, as practice. And another thing, when you're learning from 8, 9 or 10 artists, you are developing a mental library from which you pull concepts and ideas to work with, and you add your own spin to them. Coming into your own art style takes time and it's affected by the influences you let into your life. And as I said earlier, whether it be other artists' work or your own life experiences. When you're using inspiration from 10, 20, 50 different people, guess what? The art you make is gonna be something most people have never seen before and will be seen as very original. You've basically created a remix of your favorite pieces and that's perfectly fine. Ideas repeat and they're recycled all the time. And sometimes the same exact idea will be used by two different artists and will end up with very different results because each artist had a completely different experience growing up. Artist A has ideals, beliefs, interests and dreams that may be completely different to artist B. 
Their worldviews are different and their realities are different and therefore their renditions of a concept will also be different. If it was such a bad thing to use ideas already used by other artists, then why do we, say for example, have thousands upon thousands of fantasy books about dragons? You start off imitating the works of artists and writers you look up to because they know what they're doing and you eventually grow into your own unique style. If you're constantly scared of copying a piece of art you love, you're never gonna learn how it was done. And guess what? You're never gonna create work of your own. Some of the most important lessons on light and shadow and human anatomy I ever learned was by A. Studying from photos in real life and B. Copying art and art styles of my favorite artists. And don't just copy stuff in a superficial way. Don't just trace along the lines. Instead, try to look at the art and break down the shapes. Break down the color palette and the lighting. Break down everything interesting about the piece. Try to understand the artist's thought process and that's how you learn. That's what's gonna make you improve. Art studies usually just sit in your sketchbook and no one ever gets to see them. If you'd like to share some of them online, and you're apprehensive about the fact that they're copies of another's work, you can always credit the original artist in your post and clarify that these are your studies. There's nothing wrong with that. And ignore the people who attack others for trying to learn. Those who say they never copied anyone in anything have either forgotten what it's like to be a beginner or they're lying to impress you. Taking someone's work and claiming it to be your own is plagiarism and that's not okay. That's theft, and honestly, are a few likes on social media worth tarnishing your reputation for life? And do you really feel like any money you make off of stealing another person's hard work is going to be in any way a good fortune in your life? Money that's made through unethical means has this really strange nature of bringing about bad karma. Nobody is gonna take their cash to the grave, so ultimately it just isn't worth it. Anyway, those were my two cents, so feel free to start a discussion in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and like I said, I'm gonna try to build the one video a month habit this year. Eh, let's see how it goes. I hope you're all staying safe, and take care of yourselves, and until next time.